what do you think about that word realized realized not so much huh well we really like it <laughs> we really 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 like it so we're going to give you just a very brief explanation of who you are and who we are and how we all fit into this together and then we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you don't worry about us we will wedge our message in the crack So you are vibrational beings and you are source energy beings and you were source energy before you came into this body and even though you are now in this body you are still source energy in fact you are still more non-physically source energy vibrational beings than you are this flesh blood and bone version that you think of mostly as you so here you are in your physical body a part of all that you are is focused here and as you explore the variety just as you knew you would in this magnificent leading edge environment which is the leading edge of all creation as you explore it from your personal point of view you come to personal awarenesses and decisions of what you would prefer how this can be better how this can be better the improvement in that the improvement in that by sifting through life just like you planned you know what you don't want which causes you to know what you do want so you are emanating signals of desire all day every day they are shooting out of you as vibrational offerings we like to call them rockets of desire because you can't help but produce them because life causes you to focus them into being so you launch a rocket maybe you don't have enough money and so you launch a rocket and then another and another and another and another I want more money I want more money I want more prosperity I want more freedom to do as I want to do you're launching that rocket over and over and over and over and every time you do that vibrational rocket that vibrational intention that vibrational becoming is received by that non-physical part of you that non-physical part of you we are gesturing like this because that non-physical part of you immediately becomes the vibrationally equivalent of your desire more prosperity now that you have just asked more vibrational awareness and ability to be more prosperous than ever before just now so that vibrational version of you we are doing this gesture because we are wanting to imitate your vortex of creation this vibrational version of you which precedes all manifested versions this vibrational version of you has just become more prosperous but the question that this gathering really wants to present to you in a way that you will ponder and come to conclusions about is that while the non-physical part of you has become more prosperous as a result of your asking what are you doing in relationship to it right here and now and for the most part when you launch a rocket of desire it's from an awareness of the contrast so you are most likely more aware of what you don't want than of what you do want even though what you do want has just become focused upon by the source within you it's more powerful now than it has ever been before now you can tell by the way you feel whether your focused thought in this moment matches that one if it does you feel elation you feel excitement you feel eagerness you feel vibrationally up to speed with who you have really become but if you're pensive if you are fearful if you are worried if you are ornery if you are unhappy if you are feeling negative emotions those negative emotions in fact all emotions are your indicator of how matched you are to who you really are or how mismatched whether you are allowing your connection allowing yourself to be the realizer of what you're asking for or whether you're on some frequency that is preventing your full view of it because it's not that someone else is ever withholding anything from you but you may very well be vibrationally mismatched so that you are not seeing hearing smelling tasting touching you're missing the clues because you're vibrationally out of whack with what you set into motion with what you ask for you see so we've been calling this gathering for a while the art of allowing and it really is an art that you will nurture it's the art of getting up to speed with who I just became life just caused me to become more 
But if life has just caused me to become more and I'm beating the drum of my justification of why I need that or want that, I want that because I want it because I don't have it. We're beating the drum. I want that because I don't have it. I want that because I think I should have it. That person has it and that person has it and that person has it and that person has it. Why don't I have it? And in that question of what's missing, you are fostering, encouraging, continuing to practice a vibrational frequency that prevents you from realizing what you're asking for. So in order to make this really clear for you, in order to make this so that you can really understand how it works, because we know in your ability to translate vibration, you are so good at it. You are seeing and you're hearing and you're smelling and you're tasting and you're touching. You are so good at translating vibration. You don't even know that you are doing it. You're so good at translating the vibration of this universe into something that you can realize that you don't recognize that you are doing that. So we are presenting to you some explanations of how these laws work in order to help you understand where if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would put our emphasis on this eternal path of never ending expansion. And from our point of view, this eternal path of never ending joyous expansion is supposed to be fun. It is supposed to be fun. It is supposed to feel good. It is supposed to fulfill you every step of the way. And if there is anything less than that happening, then you're pinching yourself off unnecessarily. So the contrast causes you to ask and it becomes a vibrational reality immediately. And our physical friends say, well, that's very nice for someone that it is now a vibrational reality but I want that vibrational reality to become more I want to realize it fully I want to be able to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it I'm happy that you're happy Abraham that there's a vibrational reality but I want that vibrational reality to be more I want the money in my bank and the lover in my bed I want more I want more than this vibrational reality and we say then all you have to do is tune yourself to the frequency of your vortex. And it's not something that you will do instantaneously. In almost every case, it is something that you do gradually. But in every case, it is absolutely something that you can do. So if you've been listening to us for a while, you've heard us go on and on about law of attraction to the point that you're sort of tired of hearing about it. But it doesn't slow us down <laughs> because it matters so much. And if you've been listening to us for a while, you've been hearing us talking about the vortex and how it is vibrating at a very high frequency and that it would be really good for you, good feeling for you and good results for you. If you could gradually and consistently raise your vibration to the frequency of what's in your vortex, because when you're up to speed with all that you've become, you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You feel wonderful. Things go well for you. You have good timing. You have good flexibility. Life is sweet for you. And those are you benefit just being near you so if you've been listening to us for a while you know about this vortex stuff but today we want to talk to you about what happens once you have launched a rocket once we've gotten hold of it once source energy the likes of us has focused upon it and brought it into a vibrational reality that is ready to manifest ready to be realized ready for you to actualize it into your experience ready for you to make it the reality that you want to claim out here on this leading edge this furthest most expanded part of the universe where everything that is wonderful must manifest if you will only allow it in your experience so what's the next step well, the next step is recognizing that while you sifted through the contrast and while you launched the rocket and while the rocket went where it's supposed to be and while source took hold of it and while all of the cooperative components have been assembled and while it's ready to pop into your experience into your experience your experience you the creator of this wonderful thing that you put into the vortex it's ready to pop into your experience but you have to prepare yourself vibrationally for the revelation of it for the realization of it and in order to explain that in a way that you can really hear it, we're saying, so here's your vortex at this very high frequency. Imagine a cork bobbing on the surface of the water up there where the pure vibration is. You can hold that cork under the water. You can, but when you let go of it, it's going to bob right back up there. So when you stop doing those things you do that hold your cork under the water, you'll bob right back up and you'll be a vibrational match to that which you want. Happens every night when you sleep for a moment. It bobs up that you grab hold of it and drag it right back down usually as you remember yesterday <laughs> so your cork is bobbing on the surface 
And when your cork is bobbing on the surface, when what you are thinking about in this moment, when what you are giving your attention to is absent of resistance, when you're not doing that thing you do that makes you feel uneasy, when you're not introducing into your vibrational frequency unwanted things, better said, when you are in a place of allowing, when you've been meditating, when you've been praising, when you've been appreciating, when you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, when you are in love, when you are in that high flying, good feeling place, when your emotions are telling you how good you are feeling then you are a perfect vibrational match to what's in your vortex and what's in your vortex then through the path of least resistance can flow easily into your experience but the realization of it is yours we call that your grid filling in humans often call it is when inspiration comes it's when you just have that feeling about something so the grid fills in in all kinds of wonderful ways the first evidence that you're up to speed and your grid is filling in with the contents of your vortex is you just feel wonderful you feel good you feel elation you feel clear-minded you feel inspired an idea will flow in and when the idea comes you'll know it's a good one you'll know it's a good idea it's the grid filling in sometimes you want the grid to fill in boom you just want it right there where you can observe it and we say if you'll be patient and allow this natural evolution of the grid filling in then you'll get in sync with the rhythm of life that you intended when you came forth into this physical body to begin with not one of you said I'll go forth and I would like to just think of something and I would like it to manifest and then I will just observe that good thing and then I'll think about that and then other good things will come and we say if you were operating under those very speedy conditions this seminar would be about de manifestation <laughs> Abraham I have 500 cars <laughs> too many houses to live in this manifestation has gotten way 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 out of hand and we say oh you know the manifestation is delicious and we want for you everything that you want for you there is no reason for you to hold back from the things that you want but when you start to catch a glimpse of this rhythm where life has inspired you to a desire and you're not up to speed with it because your life wasn't there already so you launched it in a flash but you're not steady in that vibration and you know you're not steady in that vibration because when you look back at it later it worries you or it concerns you or you can't see the path to it so you know you're not yet up to vibrational speed with your hope or your dream or your desire but if you know the laws of the universe as we do if you know who you are and feel the worthiness of who you are then you must know that you've launched the rocket you said what you want Source is behind you it has become vibrationally active it is a vibrational reality you have only to find somehow some way which is what we're going to be talking about all day here today somehow some way to be a vibrational match a consistent vibrational match to who you are who you've really become to the things that you've asked for you see so when you practice that vibration for a while it gets easier and easier doesn't it and as you practice that vibration then your grid begins to fill in and you are there in full resonance and awareness of the grid filling in so when the idea comes your feeling to act on it is right there when the grid fills in you're in the right place at the right time you see there are a lot of people who want to fill in their own grid in other words they want to be the creator of their own experience and they want to do it through action and we want to say to you that your action is a pleasant way to enjoy the deliciousness of your time space reality but it is not the path to the creation that you seek vibrational alignment is use your action to enjoy what you've created